Hey guys, I'm Fekarnas. And I'm back, baby. I've been absent for a while, I'm sorry for that, but I hope that I can bring you some fresh energy and some fresh knowledge with this Breeze KO guide. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on what I do on each entrance on each side and show you a couple of my lineups that I use as I go. So the first thing I want to talk about is Chaos Flash uh, before I get into specifics of Breeze and KO. Uh, the whole idea is a Flash standing still flies about 25 meters, uh, 25, 27. If you're running forward, it increases by 10. And if you're running backward, it decreases by 10. So 15, 25, 35. So let's say you want to throw a Flash to yellow. You ping the area. You see, uh-huh, that's 26 meters. That's about perfect. Aim a little higher and you just throw. And that's going to pop on yellow. So if you want to, for example, Flash for double door, Okay, 35 meters time to throw, it pops right out, okay? So that's basically the entire idea of throwing flashes. If you wanna wing them perfectly, that's basically how you do it all the time. Let's say you wanna flash above yellow, you're on city, okay? Or like, let's say this edge, okay? 23, 25, you throw, bang, perfect, pops right here. So that's basically the idea of how I wing most of my flashes. That's why I don't use as many lineups as many people, cause like, I'm, I'm just going on of it. Like it's very situational, it's hard to have lineups for every situation. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the idea behind the flash. Now let's get into specifics. Starting off, I'm going to be on defense as uh, a defender on A. Uh, if you want to fight for A man, I have this good pop flash, you line up this line. I hope you have it, I'm not sure how it works with higher settings. But this is super low settings and you basically just put it somewhere in this box, like above it, so anywhere on this line. So this is too much to the right because obviously it won't hit the hole, but anywhere above it on this line, it basically pops in. You also have this knife, because it's hard to break, because people need to come in and then turn around and aim up. It's just a lot of, you know, turning and people are not comfortable doing it. So a lot of the time you just get very deep info. But the downside of it is you have to start here, which is very far away from B, if they are going B. So on the same note, I love to start at double doors. I just throw this knife at the beginning of the round, you just crouch here, aim anywhere in this area, it's just gonna land and it gets the entire B main entrance so you can know immediately if the enemy is rushing. Once you've done this knife a couple times, there's a good chance people start dodging it, they just start further back. So you just come to this line, you W into it, and then you put this part of the HUD into the corner here. And this is a throw. Not jumps, not running, nothing special, and it lands about here. And yeah. That's if they start dodging your knife. You get it like a little, like five, six seconds later, it's also undestroyable. And you again get the info whether they want to execute a new B or not. And again, usually when you play, there's three people on the side. So it's a lot of free info for your teammates as well. And that's about everything I use on A. I also have this flash. You just go into a corner here. You aim right here. So basically you see this metal part, just a little bit to the right of it. So you don't hit it and you just throw. And that goes perfectly out the double door. It doesn't get your teammates. It gets the entire bottom mid. And it's almost impossible to dodge. So that's basically all the lineups that I have. So this is the flash again. Your teammates can jump with it. Pick with it. Whatever they do. Jet goes for a not pick. And you gotta call this to your teammates. So to just pick with it. So that's the idea. And that's basically how I start on A. There's the last lineup. Knife. That I have. I don't wanna forget this. So you aim anywhere at the shadow. Where there's a gap. And it's just gonna land deep in aim and that's if you want to start on stairs and you just get early info if they're on a so i use a lot of knives at the beginning of the round because they refresh to either get info on a or on b and then flashes well whatever you want to go for kills moving on to middle i really don't like starting nest i really don't have anything from here the only thing you could do is maybe go wide and you know throw a knife down there and look for a camera look for some arrows to break but that's really all you can do here so i really dislike playing here you should let Sovas play there because they do the recons and stuff. But starting tunnel is another option. Uh, you can have a pop flash down here. It basically pops here, so it gets again entire bottom middle. The only downside of this is your teammates have to dodge it, so it's hard to explain to them. But if you just run throw at the beginning of the round, so you start here where the wall is, and when the round starts, you just throw. You just run and throw up there. Like, it doesn't matter where exactly, you, you just run and throw. And it's going to get the entire bottom mid. The knife you can also combine is this. I really don't like doing this because it's easy to break. Uh, but it's an option. Um, yeah, that's basically if your teammates want to start on middle. You don't really have any other stuff that you can offer. You can start at the back of this wall and do a run throw into this pillar. But um, it's a lot riskier because this, like, if you look at this from bottom mid's perspective, people are usually aiming like this. And, you know, if people go here, they will not be seeing your flash. If people start back at this wall, this flash is going to get them. So that's why it's good because it doesn't get your teammates. 
but if they start here it already you know doesn't get them so it's a risky flash to throw but if you see some behavior from enemies uh if you have a read that they're gonna be on this wall you can also just start here and at the beginning of the round just you know bounce it into this grass here and run through that's basically it for middle moving on to b nothing special again <laughs> unfortunately not too many setups the one knife i will show you is this one um unbreakable gets the entire beam in it's super good for early info you can also do a deep one for there and you can hold window with it so you just you know you're holding window you throw the knife at the beginning and if you see no one on the knife you can just tell your teammate yo get deep space and you rotate or you can just like do this for info and just hold window you already got a lot of pressure and information that way so your job here is basically done the one flash i do use it's usually with the viper wall that's here um so you just start here at the beginning of the round once the wall is up if you're retaking you just throw it somewhere here like you just ping the bottom of the wall and you will have a general idea of how far you are and then just throw it through and then you can play with it also you have this nade and for the retake you don't really need anything special you just wing your util most of the time setups are pretty overrated on breeze to be honest at least in my opinion so that's basically how i play defense okay hope this is insightful now let's go to attack so since we ended on uh, b let's start on b as well the first lineup i have you just go here you aim this part of the flash into the window and this one's gonna land in the middle of sight it's gonna land about right here and you know gets the entire front and back of the site if somebody's playing close this is unbreakable if they're playing here you're just gonna get info that they're here because you know they gotta shoot it and you can hit it um but you know either way this knife gives you a lot of value executing because you they either give away their position or they get suppressed normally there's gonna be cyphers playing here so if you suppress them you can just explode on them because the traps will be deactivated and yeah this knife is just let's say you want to contact b yo guys go walk in i'm gonna do a knife once it lands explode you throw it takes a couple seconds you get the time to walk in here and boom you can explode with it so that's the idea behind this knife you can also wing it if you want you can just come into main throw this one it's also a pretty good knife if you assume he's playing close just throw it at the box all of this is super hard to break unless they're like on the right side of it so all of this is like depending on where the enemy plays so you have to read into the situation a lot a good pop flash for first or whatever you call this boat is you just come here on this angle obviously let your teammates clear it first and hold it and then you go okay i'm flashing it, it's gonna bounce and it's gonna pop into people's faces here so that's one of the flashes you can use and do we have anything else here you can also ping this wall go closer okay viper walls up let's flash through you just throw a flash you push with it that's usually what i do so just try to combine your flashes with walls of viper and omens i don't know what's played in each rank but uh in in higher elo you're just mostly gonna see viper on this map so just ping the wall okay 15 meters run backwards now we're throwing it through let's push if you want to push obviously and also this knife in post plant is pretty solid and that's about all i use on attack moving on towards elbow you can have this one pop flash above this box i'm not sure how valuable it is but if people play in nest it can be very punishing or if people push the top middle you just basically lean back at this wall you don't expose yourself that's risky and you just throw anywhere high so that's basically it it's not a perfect pop flash but it's a pretty good one and you know you can knife nest you can split b from here you can go close knife there it depends on where you want to use it if you for example have a bubble here or a smoking nest you can just knife sight bang the viper is suppressed easy split on them and that's the idea behind splitting like if you example want to trick them you can also wall up you know flash through it you can use your own wall for this and that's basically the things you can do to split on b and again you have to coordinate for example if you want to I, I really love this play because i'm aggressive as hell but let's say you want to push city you just run throw back it bounces and everyone is blind close because there's no way they're dodging this so basically you just see this okay 15 meters run back and throw and then you run forward in the time you get here they're still blind they're still blind trust me they are or you can just go close and you know you can do this this is also an option i really i really dislike doing this for example uh going out in the same angle where you pop flash because people will pre will pre-fire where they see it so i really like doing plays like this where you just right click one corner just be careful if you're here if you're standing still and right clicking it might not go far enough so just run forward and throw and then go to the other side 
or do the other way, like just do it here. Yeah, because it's not gonna get you either. That's why it's pretty powerful. Anyway, so the last thing, last two things I'm gonna cover is bottom mid, and then after that we're going into a main, and that's basically it. Thank you for watching so far, and if you have enjoyed so far, drop the like, drop, drop the sub. Okay, I'm gonna stop being annoying. Anyway. The shield barrier starts here, you just bump into it and you aim at these leaves, anywhere. The, this is gonna get the entire double door, it gets the entire top mid. This is usually the flash I start with, basically every round, because uh, if nothing else, conditioning, you get a lot of space because people can just, you know, push up on the left with it. You get this angle, which is very powerful. You can smoke this off after, you can jump, you can double pick top middle, and you just get a lot of area, space, uh, coverage, coverage with just one piece of utility. So this flash is very powerful, you just aim at these leaves anywhere and you just throw it at the beginning of the round then if you want you can knife either double door you get the info is somebody close or not and then whether you want to split b or a like just you know adjust your util let's say you just want to see if they're pushing middle you can throw it down there because they cannot break it there and that's basically the whole idea behind taking bottom middle like you, ju you just start with one simple flash it's not really that deep you can also do this one if you want to do the fast a split let's say you tell your smoker to smoke this and you just throw it high so that's one double door flash you can do at the beginning of the round. So you just r run up and aim anywhere like in this area. So I think this should work if I got it. Yeah. So basically aim anywhere like this. You just run through. <clears throat> this is for double doors. Then you can do a deep knife. You follow up. There's a smoke here. You can do a deep flash again here. But this one is not perfect. It's just to help your uh, duelist. Get an angle. Get a, some space. And that's basically your whole job. Just follow the duelist. If you're, for, exa for example, smoking double door instead of top mid. After you pop flash up here, you can just pick with him, take this space again. If you feel like he wants to push nest, maybe dash into it up draft, you can just come here, ping the angle, boom, I pop flash for you. And that's basically the whole idea around playing middle. Just adjust to how the enemy is doing it. Like if the enemy is contesting your top middle, you can pop flash top mid. If they're contesting double door, you can just pop flash double door. And then you just play off of that, you know, and just jump on them where they least expect you. Yeah. I don't know what else to add here, other than uh, the idea behind KO, you try to kill with your utility, not pressure. So, anywhere you have a chance for the people, okay, he's greedy, let's punish that guy. So, try to read into the game, try to really pay attention to everything, and yeah, trust me, you're gonna go high. Anyway, the last thing I wanna talk about is aiming. You start the round basically here, as the shield drops, you aim at this area. So again, in this box, so it goes uh, into the hole here, and you just aim anywhere at this and it's gonna pop behind bridge, uh, bricks. So basically this is a Uno reverse from here. And that's the pop flash for taking aim in. If they're contesting you, you can just hide anti-flash, throw this, you get them suppressed. Okay, now they have no util, you know. You, you can do either. I don't recommend doing both at the same time, but let's say for example, you do, do a knife, they already pop flashed, aha, uh -huh, bam, bam. Uh, but if there's no one on the knife, you just walk close, you tell yourself what to drone. Okay, you probably have the Viper wall across. Now you come out, break the util. Oh, yo, Jet, there's a wall going down. I'll flash for you. You flash through a wall with the ping again. Just use the pings. Please. I cannot I cannot say this enough. Use the pings, use the pings, use the distance. Just like stand still and just, okay, this is 15 meters. Head on backwards. I'm going to pop flash through. Use this as much as you can. Trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you one hell of a KO. At least it has made me. And that's basically all the setups I have. I have two more lineups for knives. And that's gonna about wrap it. You basically come here at the beginning of the round and you use this line and this line, both on the same spot here. So this one is for middle of sight and this one is for yellow. This one is hard to break if people play there and this one is hard to break for people who play yellow. <coughs> Very sh uh, sharp cut, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to this. I'll try to post up as many videos as possible. Hope I brought some value into this and I hope you enjoyed. Also, a quick reminder, I've just relaunched my Patreon and I want to thank everybody who's currently uh, supporting me on it and who supported me in the past. Uh, Kier Optical, KP, Kili, Tala, Joshua, Jonis, Peyton and MK. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you all. Anybody who's watching, thank you. And yeah, I hope to do another guide in a couple of days. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.